Fewer than half of Hispanic and Latino college students in Massachusetts earn a degree or certificate within six years. That's compared to 69% of whites. In recent years, some community colleges have developed programs meant to address that challenge. I spoke with Lydia Rivera Early and Dr. Felicia Griffin Fennell of Springfield Technical Community College to understand barriers these students face and ongoing efforts in this region to help more students graduate from college. Some of the students um, that identify as Latino students that come into our institution are um, first-time generation students, so that could be an obstacle for them coming come and prepare for um, college. Also, um, just having, we service a population that is not the traditional student, so when it comes to age, um, we have an older population. They have full families, they have full-time jobs, so they are juggling the um, workload of a student and also being a parent and being a working person in general. So STCC is um, one of two Hispanic serving institutions in our region. Holyoke Community College is one as well. One of the definitions of a Hispanic serving institution is that the minimum enrollment of 25% of the students there are Hispanic or Latino. But but at STCC, it's even a little higher than that, right? It's about 27%? Yes. Mm -hmm. How is it that you're um, working with community to help encourage them to enroll? Well, one of the things that we really are trying to do as a campus is to get the community to understand what it is that we have to offer at STCC in terms of academic programs and so that they can think about how might they leverage a degree from STCC and move into the workforce. One of the biggest areas that we have in the region as well as nationally that's looking for future employees is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM is a vast array of areas that people can dabble into. So we're working with local school groups and local organizations to get the youth to understand what is STEM what kinds of academic programs they can do, and getting folks to understand that they can be employable. Um, so starting even much younger than exactly. college enrollment age. Exactly. Um, a lot of the research that exists out there says that we need to reach out to younger populations to get them to understand what it means to start thinking about their careers, start thinking about um, what it is that they can do. Some would argue that if we only wait until the students cross our threshold, we're creating a disservice for those students. Because what well, I think some of the research points out is that among students, like you say, who might be coming to college for the first time, they're entering college, but they're, they're taking a remedial course when they get there, exactly. right? Absolutely. So a lot of uh, what we're trying to do and what have been doing for the past couple of years is creating programs and supported services that will kind of bridge that gap between the remediation kind of course and um, the actual um, curriculum that they need to take in order to get an accreditation uh, associate or certificate. So what we have been doing is uh, working on what we call core requisite model. So what that does is kind of eliminates the remediation portion of the um, course when you come in and you test at a lower level. And um, it provides like dual, dual um, program delivery in reference to that particular subject. Oftentimes the most remediation that is needed is either English and math. So we have created those opportunities for students to be able to do the math component and then be able to enter into the actual statistics course per se. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a Hispanic or a Latino student who's hearing this conversation or a parent or a family member, what is an institution like STIC going to provide me that's going to help benefit me? STCC provides an opportunity for almost like a wraparound experience for its students. As they're working their way from day one to graduation day, they're working with various individuals who help them stay on their path. Um, they're working with an advisor from the time that they agree to come to SCCC, and that person helps steer them through various courses based on the student's interests and the student's plans for a degree. Um, after a while, those students transition to a faculty advisor where that person continues to support that student through that academic trajectory at SCCC. We have pieces in place as Lydia mentioned, with regard to remediation and making sure that we 
make, help the students move through their degrees. Because what we find statistically is that if students are lagging with regard to say mathematics, the farther back that student has to remediate, the less likely it is that student is to move into an academic program. So say if that student needs to go into, wants to go into a STEM program, if that student is starting with pre-algebra, that person's at a significant deficit. They have a larger catch-up period. Exactly. Hopefully that student has moved through, has persisted, has maintained academic confidence in self in order to complete and it's, move on. Sorry, it's a really interesting model too because if you think about uh, adults out in the career world, we're often encouraged to have a mentor. And to me, what you just described really seems like a very concerted mentorship opportunity or affording these students. Um, I know that Salem State University was recently um, elevated in the Boston Globe because it is a Hispanic serving institution that's seeing some strong inroads. Are you aware of the programs that they're using, some best practices that might be applied to STCC? Um, I, I did um, look at some of the statistics and some of the um, information that was providing regarding Salem State and what they're doing and stuff and it's really awesome to see because like I stated before we have been working in some of those um, pilot programs and trying to create opportunity for our students to be successful in reference to providing the extra services um, and bridging that gap for them so I think it is um, extremely important that we continue to not just pilot some of those initiatives but really um, use them in the whole campus spe spectrum um, and kind of like embed them into our curriculum. We continue to work on um, a lot of what STCC does is work with area businesses and they sit at the table and they really um, work with us when, they, when in terms of creating curriculum and what they're looking for in people entering the workforce. So we have a really um, good relationship with the employers in this area and um, partnerships with them so when our students come out of certificates or associate programs we are guiding them into that uh, career startup. <laughs> <laughs>